St. Lucia's Citizenship by Investment program has launched its new brand and enhanced website as part of an overall strategy to become one of the most visible, viable and unique programs internationally. The CIP's rebrand coincides with its fifth year of operation and the program is now focused more than ever on using St. Lucia's citizenship in the furtherance of national development goals in the short to long term. The new CIP visual identity incorporates the country's matriarchal brand, featuring the immediately recognizable famous pitons. However, the CIP notes that this rebranding is much more than a logo or a new look and feel in the market. It is the unveiling of an entire strategy in motion to develop and be perceived as the best run and most successful global citizenship program in the world. After five years of operating, the CIP is well poised to capitalize on an increased demand for investments via its citizenship program. Even with COVID, when we would expect that there'd be a reduction of numbers, it is the best time that CIP has witnessed over the five years. And I think what underpins this is the basic principle that the issue of international mobility that is so required by people is not phased by whether there's a pandemic or not. Persons want to move and they want that international mobility. And for St. Lucia, I think we were at the right time, the right place. And I think the, the, the whole rebranding and the whole narrative that we've written will really put us in good stead and will continue uh, showing those increases in numbers. A highlight of the rebranding is the enhanced website with user experience and user interface capabilities to allow for secure online applications and also serves as a powerful marketing tool with its rich content and information. The brand pillars and tagline for the re CIP are authentic, respected, secured. At its core here, I mean, you know, the integrity of our program is of utmost importance. So, you know, for example, audits. Our program is audited every year. The financial statements, the, the, the entire um, report of the audit is delivered on time to cabinet in line with legislative requirements. From an integrity point of view, I can sit here and, and say very clearly that every file that comes to the boardroom, and indeed every file must come to the board to be decided on. So it's a, it's a board of five that decides on every file, um, and every file that comes to our boardroom has had to go through all of the regulatory you know, due diligence, all of the private due diligence, and then all of our you know, national security and international security partners. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Chastney, is pleased with the direction that the CIP has taken under his leadership. Key benefits from the revenue from the CIP program include availability and ease of access to affordable funding for investment and development in the country, via the National Economic Fund, as well as improving the country's net worth and credit rating. In addition to improving um, the uh, credit rating of our country, is that it drives investment. So whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in education, whether it's in infrastructure, it makes uh, free capital, monies that, in fact, we don't have to pay for. Um, it's like having grant money to invest in our country. The difference is, is my government is not intending to use it as grant money. We think that um, it should remain as equity or as a loan even to government in order to preserve and make sure it's a sovereign fund. The impressive performance of the rebranded CIP, even with the context of COVID-19, is good news for the country as the program seems poised to become a significant contributor to GDP and the furtherance of national development goals. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.